Hi, this is IK. I have been using the Firefox web browser for more than 5 years and I am thoroughly enjoying the experience. It has now become my browser of choice on both my PC and my mobile and it's also one of my password managers. Still I must admit that just like most things in life it is not perfect what with Google still being the default search engine. Thanks Mozilla. However, we can reach closer to perfection using the extensive amount of extensions available for the open source web browser. So, let's begin with the Firefox extensions I think all users should use. First up on my list is uBlock Origin, which as the name somewhat suggests is an ad blocker. I hope that this one is something that you have already heard of and are using while watching this video because frankly I think that if you are using the internet in 2023 without using an ad blocker you are committing a war crime against yourself it is difficult to understate how much of an improvement using an ad blocker makes in the internet experience there are several ad blockers available in the extensions but most of them allow some ads which they claim are not intrusive but are actually the ones whose advertisers paid the developers to show the ads in technical terminology this is known as however uBlock origin is the well known and best quality one so that is my recommendation in a similar vein i use duckduckgo privacy essentials which sets duckduckgo as the default search engine which is useful for a distro hopper like me thanks for not including that in firefox sync mozilla I also use Privacy Badger which does mm, um, something um, and also decentralize which prevents loading resources from large CDNs which can track you also on my list of privacy enhancing extensions is I don't care about cookies which is an extension which blocks most pop-ups on websites asking about cookies and whether you want to eat any I also use Firefox Relay which basically creates a fake email address which you can give to websites which forwards all emails it receives to your main email account so that you can filter them into different folders or the spam folder without the risk of sketchy websites selling your actual email address this means if one of your fake email addresses start getting too much spam you can simply delete it and hook up a new fake email to your main email address instead Moving on to our last ad blocker which is ad blocker for YouTube which as you can tell blocks ads on the popular video streaming website Vimeo sorry i mean YouTube seriously if you just sat through 3 or 14 or whatever ad it is to watch this video i am both pitying and laughing at you on the topic of YouTube you might have noticed that videos on YouTube no longer show how many dislikes they have which really sucks for everyone who is not me or Logan Paul However, to help you lot judge how bad my videos are without having to sit through them, you can install the Return YouTube Dislikes extension. I must warn you that the fact that most of my videos probably have far more dislikes than likes is probably a glitch. Not moving on from YouTube because it is not in the best of states as I record this is Sponsor Block, which is an extension which blocks ad reads and sponsored segments from YouTube videos. Now you may not have heard many YouTubers talk about sponsor block because it actively hurts their income but I can talk about it easily because I don't have an audience or any sponsors or any monetization Of course the reason my videos are so bad is that I do little to no research before spewing out any garbage which comes to my mind not because of any grammatical or spelling errors thanks to language tool the spell check and grammar assistant Language tool is also unique because it is not only a Firefox extension but also one of the built-in spell checkers for the Office Suite Library Office which is what I used to write the scripts for my videos among little else by default it uses its own free server to check for language issues but it has some features locked behind a paywall however you can self host a language tool server to use these features for free as well Another interesting extension I use is Firefox Multi Account Containers. This extension enables you to create containers which are basically mini browsers which have their own separate cookies and logins. This means that you can separate all your school and work related accounts and logins from your personal login and you won't accidentally end up watching YouTube or browsing Google with your organization's account. 
or if you use social media websites like Facebook but don't want to let them associate your browsing activity with your account. You can browse the social media websites in a special container separate from the rest of your browsing. If you are wondering how social media websites can track you across the internet, I am also making another video named how to stay private on the internet in which I discuss the tactics used by tech giants in detail. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that video. Last but not the least, I use the extension Dark Reader to browse websites which do not have dark mode, unlike my website which does not have a light mode. Dark Reader switches all the bright colors with their dark counterparts, so you don't have to compromise with the aesthetic of the website while also not burning it onto your eyes when you are reading it at night. Anyways, those are the Firefox extensions that I use every day. If you have any suggestions, let me and others know in the comment section. Remember to hit the dislike button, do not share this video if you want to keep your social standing and keep your hands away from the subscribe button.